Hello, my name is Terry Lynn Williams Davidson, and we're coming to you from the beautiful territory of the semi remote First Nation near White Rock and beautiful British Columbia. Uh, my name is Sarah Florence Davidson, and I am super happy to be here to share this book with you. And so we wanted to just share a few little, um, little maybe a uh, little bits about the book and uh, start by just asking Terry Lynn a little bit about why she wanted to write this book. So Terry Lynn, can you tell us a bit about uh, why you chose to write and this book and share these magical beings with so many folks? Yeah, so this is a beautiful little book for children that is based on an adult book called Out of Concealment, Female Supernatural Beings of Haida Gwaii. And this is the um, more accessible version of that book. And the intention of both books is to help people to see the land and sea differently from a Haida perspective, how Haida people view the world as supernatural beings or magical beings all around us in the land and sea, in the trees, in the creeks, in the uh, frogs, everything around us are these incredible magical beings that children can draw upon for strength. If you're facing a challenge in your life, there may be a teaching that you could find, hopefully in the book, Magical Beings of Haida Gwaii. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And one of the things that um, I, I notice when I open the book are these incredible illustrations. And so we thought what we would do is share with you all the different people who contributed to these beautiful illustrations, because it's sometimes hard to know all the different different people working behind the scenes to bring something together. So we're going to start with that and then we'll share with you a little bit about uh, Cedar Sister in particular. Great. So all of the people who worked on magical beings are incredible artists uh, in their own right. On the left is Judy Hilgeman. And so she is a settler who lives in Haida Gwaii and she does incredible watercolor drawings that are very realistic to give you a sense of what it is to be in Haida Gwaii. And then next to her is Alyssa Kosky. And she did all of the magical beings that appear in the book. And she has an incredible way of illustrating the magical beings in a way that, that we think appeals to children. And we'll talk a little bit later about this, but there is also Haida art that is hidden uh, as kind of a game for you to find where these beautiful art pieces are. And all of those art pieces were created by my husband and Sarah's father, Robert Davidson. So he's shown in front of a totem pole, a carp pole that, that he created in his studio. And then on the far right is Pauline Petit, and she is a master with Photoshop, and she integrated all of those artists' work together to create the images that you see in Magical Beings of Haida Gwaii. So one of the uh, one of the first pieces we'll look at is Cedar Sister, and this is the mask that you'll find in the artwork. And the name of this mask is called Spirit of Cedar, and it was created by Robert Davidson. And it's an incredible piece that shows all of the grain of the cedar and is was created to speak about uh, the pain that cedar trees go through when they are being cut or logged. And um, there's a lot of emotion in this mask and, and we'll, you'll see this mask a little bit later on. Now I talked about the adult version of the book, Out of Concealment, and this is the original artwork that I created with, with a number of photographers, a photographer who created the background image of Haida Gwaii, showing all of the beautiful old growth cedar trees in the back. And then Cedar Sister is in the middle. And this image is based on the Haida belief that cedar trees are an older sister to all Haida people because she provides everything that we need traditionally. Our, our homes are made out of cedar. Our canoes are made out of old growth cedar trees. Our clothing traditionally was made out of the bark of cedar. Our regalia, including the headpiece that Cedar Sister is wearing here. Um, our hunting, cooking, fishing implements, everything came from the cedar tree. And for that reason, we call her our older sister. And so um, this is the depiction of Cedar Sister. And if you look really closely, you can see that the person who is posing in this photograph is actually Terry Lynn. <laughs> 
<laughs> but if you also look really closely and we're going to give you a moment, you should be able to find the mask that we just showed you that was carved by my father, the, the spirit of cedar. So I'm going to pause for a moment and let you take a look and see if you can find the mask in the image. And I'm hoping that you found it in the top right hand corner in the cedar tree. So in the previous image, um, Sarah mentioned that I was depicting Cedar Sister. And so that was actually what's called performance art, where I am embodying each of these magical beings. And we decided to take a different approach for magical beings, Sarah and I and the publisher and those working on the book. And we wanted to create images of the magical beings that look like all of you all of the children that would be reading the book would hopefully see themselves in the book and so this is cedar's sister as she appears in magical beings of Haida Gwaii and she's wearing the same garment she's pretty much in the same pose and in the middle of the beautiful forests of Haida Gwaii and you should be able to spy the um the mask again and i just want to pause here for a moment and just remember what terry lynn said about all of the different artists contributions so the background here was done by judy Alyssa did the the figure in the front the cedar sister in the front and then if you look closely on the right hand cedar tree you'll see my father's mask uh embedded there and and then uh, Pauline was the one who was able to put all of the, this together. And one thing that was really cool about it was that um, she was able to work in the texture, the watercolor texture into uh, the image, which really brought it together, brought all of these different artistic contributions together. One of, the, one of the other parts of this book is that there are poems. So I'm sure that if you're looking at the book, you'll see that there's the image and then there's a poem. So we wanted to end today's little presentation with uh, the poem Cedar Sister. She is the older sister to women and the ally to warriors. She exists in every part of our lives. She protects us, provides for us, and teaches us to draw strength from our community so that we can always give back. She teaches us to listen for the voices of our ancestors so that we remember their teachings always. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, to end today, we just wanted to make sure that we shared with you that there's another little uh, a, a, a magical beans coloring book and activity book that is out now. And in uh, the dialect from my father's community, we say how up for thank you. And so if you'd like to reach out through social media, that's where you can find me, Sarah F. Davidson, no H. Great. And how is how we say thank you in my community of Skidigit. Uh, we've included uh, my website as well as my Instagram and Twitter handle. A handle. Uh, but you can also, when you go to my website, you will also see a video of a song that I composed about Cedar Sister and performed with a rock guitarist and a jazz musician right in the middle of Haida Gwaii. So you'll be able to see us in, in an ancient village of Nunstance in Haida Gwaii. So be sure to check that out too. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us today and uh, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>